Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. For many electric range repairs, you will need to disassemble the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. You will also need to pull the range away from the wall so you can access the rear of the appliance. To replace parts inside the oven, we recommend removing the oven door. Rotate both door hinge locks back. Partially close the door, then lift and pull the door toward you to remove. With the handle side down, set the door on a blanket. Slide out the oven racks for easier access to the bake and broil elements, the light assemblies, and the convection fan assembly. To replace the bake element, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two screws, securing the oven's bottom panel. Lift the panel up from the rear and pull forward to detach. To access the bake element wires, unthread the two screws securing the lower rear access panel. Lift the panel up and out to remove. Disconnect the wires from the bake element terminals. Next, unthread the screws securing the bake element to the front and rear of the oven. You can now remove the old element. Install the new bake element by inserting the terminals through the holes in the rear panel. Fully position the element and replace the two screws to secure it. Reinstall the bottom panel by aligning the front edge first. Thread the screws to secure. Slide the oven racks into place. Returning to the rear of the appliance, connect the wires to the bake element terminals. Reinstall the lower access panel by inserting the tabs in the slots first. Lower the panel and secure it with the screws. To replace the oven door handle or hinge, use a Phillips head screwdriver or a number two square drive bit to unthread the three screws on the bottom of the door assembly. Unthread the two screws in the upper corners. With the screws unthreaded, you can lift out the inner door panel. To remove a hinge, unthread the two bottom screws securing the hinge. Unthread the third screw on the outside of the inner door panel and you can fully remove the old hinge. Install a new hinge by aligning it in the door panel. Then thread and tighten the three screws to secure. Join the inner and outer door panels together.
thread the five screws to secure. Reinstall the oven door by inserting the door hinges into the hinge slots at a 45 degree angle. Lower the door to its fully open position, then rotate the hinge locks forward. To access the thermal fuse or oven sensor, unthread the three screws to release the left side stop bracket. Repeat to detach the right side bracket. You can now lift the upper rear access panel up, then tilt forward to remove. To replace the thermal fuse, first disconnect the wires. Now unthread the mounting screw to release the old fuse. Install the new thermal fuse by aligning it on the rear panel, then thread the screw to secure. Connect the wires to the terminals. Reinstall the upper rear access panel by inserting the bottom tabs into the slots in the lower access panel, then lift it up and hook it onto the upper tabs. Realign the two stop brackets and thread the screws to hold them in place. To detach the control panel, open the oven door and use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the control panel's lower cover. Remove the cover. Next, unthread the two screws, securing the control panel to the frame. You can now detach the control panel to access the surface element switches. To reach the surface elements, you will need to remove the main top. Support the control panel to avoid straining the wires. Now unthread the front bracket screws securing the main top. Unthread the two screws underneath the rear corners of the top. Pull the main top back and up to remove, then set it aside. To replace a surface element, detach the element retaining clips from the support panel. Note the orientation of the wires then disconnect them from the terminals. Prepare the new surface element for installation by transferring the spring clips from the old element to the new one. Use the numbers engraved on the base to position the clips in the proper locations. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals.
Insert the clips into the slots in the support panel and snap the new element into place. If you need to replace the oven door switch, unthread the two screws securing the lower rear access panel. Lift the panel up and out to remove. Remove the screws to detach both the left and right side stop brackets. Remove the upper rear access panel. For easier access to the door switch, unthread the two screws securing the element support panel to the right side panel. Unthread the four remaining screws securing the side panel. Now use a flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tab at the rear and you can fully detach the panel. Remove the insulating cover and you can disconnect the door switch wire connector. Depress the retaining tabs and push the door switch free of the bracket. Pull the actuator rod out of the hole in the front panel and detach the old switch from the rod. Install the new oven door switch by hooking it onto the actuator rod. Then feed the rod through the hole in the front panel and snap the switch into place on the bracket. Connect the wire connector. Reposition the insulating cover. Reinstall the side panel by aligning the frame tabs with the slots on the front of the panel. Then snap the panel into position. Secure it with the screws. Replace the screws securing the element support panel to the side panel. Reinstall the upper rear access panel. Realign the two stop brackets and replace the screws to secure. Reinstall the lower access panel by inserting the tabs in the slots first. Lower the panel and secure it with the screws. Continue the reassembly by sliding the rear edge of the main top under the lip of the element support panel, then lower the front edge. Replace all of the screws to secure. Realign the control panel on the front brackets. Secure it with the screws. Replace the lower cover, then thread the screws to hold it in place.
To replace any warming drawer components, pull out the drawer and remove the rack. Next, use pliers to bend the slide rails outward to fully detach the drawer assembly. This may require some effort. If you need to replace the warming drawer bake element, unthread the mounting screw securing the element. Lift the element up and pull it forward to access the wires. Disconnect the wires and you can fully remove the old element. Install the new bake element by first connecting the wires to the terminals. Align the element bracket tabs in the slots in the base. Replace the mounting screw. With the side rails pulled out, align the slots in the drawer assembly with the tabs on the side rails and snap the assembly into position. With the reassembly complete, plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and the electric range should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.